So there are a couple of major ways that we'll interact with PowerShell. The first is through the PowerShell console, which we talked about in another video. The other is using the PowerShell ISE. So I'm going to go to my search and I'm going to type ISE and that's going to bring up my Windows PowerShell ISE. Now we have the same thing here when we start the uh, ISE that we did when we started the console. We can run it as a standard user or run it as an administrator. And like starting the console we have the 64-bit version and the um, x86 or the 32-bit version now if you are in the PowerShell console so let me go to PowerShell and I'll run it as an administrator like normally allow permissions bring this over to the right screen all right if I'm in the PowerShell console and I want to go to the ISC I just enter the command ISC and it will take me there and of course it opens up on my other screen okay here's the ISC now the ISC typically has three panes available whoops that's not what I wanted uh, it typically has three panes available and I've got mine set here for two so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the third one here which is our command explorer or command add-on so here are three major panes and like you saw we can change these around this is going to be the script pane so if i enter a command here get child item just as an example it actually just adds that to my script and i can have multiple scripts open each one of them on a different tab so this is my script editor We'll talk about that more a little bit later on. This is my console pane. Now this allows me to run commands interactively. So here I typed get child item and it uh, just added it to my script. Here if I type get child item, it'll go ahead and execute the command for me. And let's, all right. So the other thing you'll notice when I typed get all right, it starts popping up possible commands. Now, this is a tool called IntelliSense. And the idea here is it will help you discover uh, learn how to use PowerShell commands, which can be really, really helpful when you're learning PowerShell. But if you get used to it and you're on a system that doesn't have the ISC, which the ISC requires a GUI, so if you're running on a system without a GUI, you don't have access to the ISC. That creates a little bit of a problem. So you'll notice most of what I do, I actually do in the console, not in the ISC. Now, with the IntelliSense, you see how it's trying to fill things out, and then I can come down to any command and click on it, and it will enter that command for me. So useful especially when learning but just be aware that if you get really dependent on it and you're running on a like a nano server or um, a server that's installed without a GUI as a core install you may not have access to that so I'm I'm going to encourage you to try to get used to working in a console a little bit more now let me show you this third pane over here and this is our commands explorer and the idea here is to help us discover more about commands so I have all modules and I can choose which particular module I'm looking for so if I'm looking for things inside a particular module I can pick the module that I want and it will show me only commands from that module we'll talk about modules a little bit later on I can also search for my commands here so get child and now it's going to show me my get child item and when i click on it it's uh, going to give me the option to put in all of the details so these are all of the options or parameters i can put into the get child item now once i get this command exactly the way i want i can copy the command which will then let me paste it like say into my script pane or i can insert the command which will insert it into my console and let me run it. Or I can just run the command and it will immediately execute it. So Command Explorer helps us discover commands. Um, console pane helps us run commands interactively. Script pane lets us start building scripts. We'll take a look more at that as we move along uh, throughout the course. Now, any of these can be added, moved, changed around. 
So we can get rid of our command pane for a while. We can shrink this. We can do whatever we want to. Let me go ahead and put those back here real quick just so that we have them. And we can move this around kind of in a way that it's, or we can set it up in a way that's going to work well for us. So that is a real brief introduction to the ISC. Now we'll come back to the ISC when we do a little bit more with actual scripting. I tend to do most of my commands just in the standard console if I'm working with the system interactively, but the ISC is absolutely wonderful for scripting. So when we get to the point where we're doing some more scripting, we're going to spend a lot more time here in the ISC.